Hello everybody. Well many of you know I bought the lemon receiver um, from HeliNation.com, a reputable company, and uh, it didn't work. The failsafe didn't work. So we're going to do a little test. They sent me a new one, and we're going to do a little test here, and I'm going to show you how to bind it up and how this all works, okay? So what first I'm going to do is turn on my transmitter and select, this is the uh, Spectrum DX8 Generation 2. And I'm going to change this to Add New Model, Create. And we're going to give it the name Lemon. Okay, now it says Lemon. Okay, shut this off. Put in the bind plug. Now you know the failsafe was what wasn't working on this radio before. So the bind plug goes in right here. And I have a servo mounted so you can actually see high and low throttle here. We're going to try in a bit with the speed controller and we'll check the functions of the telemetry version, but right now I'm just going to show you how this works when we bind it up. Okay, the way you bind it up now is I'm using a 4.8 volt, 2000 milliamp battery that I got, and I'm going to plug it into any channel. And this is blinking, and this is blinking. Okay, for the failsafe to work, you have to press the green button, here, this little button here, and that turns on the failsafe. And you want to bind with the throttle down. Okay, so normally you don't want to be too close with your transmitter to any receiver when you bind it because it can overload it and swamp it. We'll try it here just so you can see. You hold in your bind button and turn it on. Okay, bind it complete. Okay, in order for the failsafe to work, now see this is working now, you want to now pull the plug out without shutting off the power. Okay, bind plug is out, we're all bound up, the satellite and this. This plug will check the voltage of your motor battery, and now we're going to set up the telemetry on this. So now, if I turn this on to full throttle, and, it lo and the radio loses signal, or there's a brown out, and I'm going to shut it off. The, the throttle servo goes to low throttle. That's what you want. You don't want it to be taken off if you shut off your transmitter by accident or you lose signal. If I turn this back on, she's saying warning throttle high. Nothing's going to happen until I pull that back down. Very good. Okay, so now I can go ahead and set up the telemetry on it. I have the temperature gauge in here, and we're going to have the bottle. So let, let's go ahead and set this up. So we want to go to telemetry, and you want to go to settings, settings, roller units, United States, and then auto config. So I'm going to do that auto config. And now it's showing me that I can have an RPM sensor, a temperature temperature. I'm going to go ahead and set temperature right now because I have the temperature plugged in. Temperature. And uh, I'm going to turn on the status report for 60 seconds. Every 60 seconds it's going to tell me the temperature. See the receiver voltage. Turn on the report. Receiver 5.0 volts. Temperature 72, temperature 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what it is in here right now, so we know that's working. Okay, let's set it up now with the speed controller on there. We'll eliminate this. Okay, in order to make this work, uh, this is the uh, sensor for the battery pack voltage here. And we're going to check this speed controller and uh, motor now and see how the failsafe works on that. And in order to make this all work, I have a ton of adapters around for just about everything. So this has to go into here, because this is a Dean's connector setup. And this will have to go in here. 
and we will plug minus into this and plus into that. Okay, now I need to turn on the transmitter. Let's check the fail safe out. It's showing that it's on. We're going to run it up like we're flying it. If we were to lose power, like the transmitter shut off, you want that to go to zero. Let's see what happens. Shut it off. Perfect. Now, if I turn this on, Warning throttle high. When this orange light is off, even though it's on, there is no, no radio frequency being transmitted until you bring this down. Now the RF is on. All right, let's go out for a range test. All right, let's do a range check on this thing now. All right, so we're going to set this to range test. It says full power. If I push this button, reduce power. So, let's try this out. Reduce power means we will get to about 100 feet. Let's go see how it works. Well, the range is good. Landing gear back on. We'll run this up now. Just a little bit and we're going to check out the fail safe. I'm going to shut off the transmitter. Motor off, servos all stay the same. Very good. Let's go fly. Flight pack 10.9 volts, temperature 92 degrees Fahrenheit.
Well, the lemon receiver worked perfectly. And do I like it? I do. And do I recommend it? Yes, I do. And the FMS Fire, I also like it very much and I recommend that too. You can see the links in the description box. Thanks a lot for watching and happy flying.